Yo, ho, ho, ho. what up guys and welcome back to another one today guys whoo are we doing something different I'm telling you right now never done anything like this not quite like this so as you guys know the rebound migration the northern migration it's completely underway I mean it is running hard them birds are traveling well a lot of you guys have met Mike my good buddy that hunts with me all the time he's actually part of Ducks Unlimited Anyways, long story short, this is an annual Ducks Unlimited trip that a group of guys get together and they're all from the committee and they go to Grand Island, Nebraska to spectate out of a Ducks Unlimited owned pit blind, one of the biggest crane roosts in the return migration here. Right now, there are over 400,000 cranes. 400... 400,000 Sandhill Cranes on the Platte River and it's right in front of this pit blind. So what, what they do, what this is all about is to go down there and observe their conservation effort. Oh, but real quick, I gotta show you guys something. Check this bad boy out right here. That is a bad mother duck right there. This is our new Ducks t-shirt of the month and let me tell you, it's one of my favorites. What the Ducks t-shirt of the month is, is when you buy this, you get all the new one-off Ducks T-Shirt of the Month shirts delivered right to your mailbox. And they're all actually for a discounted price. These were only like 15 bucks a piece. And like I said, when you're a Ducks T-Shirt of the Month subscriber, you get all of these one-off T-Shirts that no one else can buy on the website. But this is the April shirt. This will not be available until April 1st. So, just a little heads up there. But enough blabbing. It is right at 6.45 in the morning. I gotta go pick up Mike by 7.00. And yeah, we're gonna get on the road. We got about a three hour drive ahead of us. But here in just a little bit, I'll do a little bit of travel vlogging around, along the way. But tonight we're gonna be seeing a ton of birds. Well, we made it. I'm in Grand Island, Nebraska. And let me tell you what, coming into town here, we have seen probably, I don't know, 50 different feeds, huge feeds of nothing but cranes. So what we're gonna do now is we're all gonna get some lunch. Uh, we're all gathering here at the lovely Holiday Inn. And then we're all going to disperse out, probably in three different trucks. We're going to do a lot of driving, so I'll have a lot of opportunity to film huge feeds for y'all to see. But then around 5 o'clock is when we're all going to meet up at the pit blind that's owned by Ducks Unlimited. So, tonight, here in just a little bit, we're going to be able to spectate hundreds of thousands of cranes right in our face. But before we get there, I want to let you guys know, over at DucksWaterfowl.com, everything in the store, Saturday through Monday is 20% off. If you guys have been wanting to pick you up a hat or a duck shirt or a hoodie or a duck call or anything, everything 20% off Saturday through Monday. So don't miss out. It's our last end of the season big sale. Oh man, Mike, you're looking pretty spiffy today if I do say so myself. But yeah, as you can see by the sign out in the lobby, Cranes are kind of a thing here, you know? <laughs> well, Mike, he's looking snazzy, but he had to go to a funeral this morning. Yeah. Well, 328, this is our room. Michael got us a room. Got us a penthouse. Penthouse? Well, it better not have no heart-shaped tub or anything no like that. Tub pillows in and there. Yeah, he probably got us the... Only a uh, king-size bed in here. <laughs> one king-size bed. <laughs> well, first crane feed. It's way out there, but it is big. You can barely see them up underneath that pivot. It's stacked up. Well, oh, here's a better look at that feed. Some big birds out there. Woo! Did we find a big feed? Look at this. Hear how loud that is? Look at that. This is just unreal. You don't see this in Kansas. You don't hear it in Kansas either. Just unreal. Crazy. Frickin' Jurassic Park out here. Just big old groups coming from the heavens. Unreal. Go find some more. Look how many birds are in that feed. 
goodness. It's huge. Just sitting out in a pasture. That's what bothers my mind. Yeah. Stay in the north. That just goes to show you when you've been goose hunting and you're like, where are they going? You know, yeah. It just comes down to yesterday at McDonald's, today they want Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neat. Oh, they're trying to get privacy yeah. back there. Yeah. Look at this. In the woods and yeah. do their business. So if they come jumping. out smoking a cigarette, we know. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Okay, kind of ladies, quick. look yeah. at this. Yeah, they start jumping up and down, and I guess that's their courtship. Yeah, they call it the crane dance. The crane dance. Trying to intrigue the partner, huh? Yeah. And that's like See. Bobby on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> See him? Mm -hmm. Yep. See him jumping up and down there. Jumping up and down. Look at that. That is wild. Huh. Oh, well. See the white one out there right in the middle of the screen? Yep, that's a whooping crane. We finally spotted one. And there's only 284 whooping cranes that exist in our fly line. So, Pretty special to see one in the field. Look at this. Crazy. Crazy feeding going on. This is the same field with that whooping crane out in it. You see him right there? The white one in the center of the screen? Yeah, he was over here. Those whooping cranes walk a ton compared to normal sandhill cranes. Gnarly. That's neat. I've never seen a whooping crane. Never crazy how far he walks. He has literally walked probably 75 yards just in the five minutes we've been watching him. Just the whooping cranes traveled that far. None of the others. Well, first blooper of the day. We're just trying to get to the blind here. Little wet Michael. Yes. What'd you get me into out here? I thought you guys were supposed to be old guys that don't do anything special like this. <laughs> oh no. That's it's supposed to be boring. No. It's always adventurous with us. <laughs> Well, nothing like one Chevy pulling another Chevy out. I wish that was a Dodge and I could really talk some smack, but... Oh, this isn't going to be exciting at all. Nope. That was too easy. Well, it's never an adventure unless someone doesn't get stuck. A lot of you guys remember North Dakota last year. Drove 12 hours to get up there, and the first thing we did, pulled into a field and buried it. Nothing new. Check this out. This is just, it's wild. Everything around this entire area has to do with cranes. There's a crane trust. You see these signs everywhere. Literally, the cranes, it's the talk of the town all the time. Grand Island is just centrally focused on cranes because they all stop through here when they're headed back north. They don't stop here on the southern migration in the fall, just in the spring. So, this place is wild. Well, this is probably the coolest blind situation I've ever seen in my life. So where we're at is, I showed you that sign earlier, the Crane Trust. So all this land up against the Platte River is all Crane Trust land. And there is an agreement between the Crane Trust and Ducks Unlimited. Uh, they let Ducks Unlimited put their blinds here. And look at this thing. This is, uh, this is pretty neat. You got it all paneled off. And then they got a big old storage container out here. Is that your confidence, confidence decoy? Right. One decoy, that's all we need today. That's all we have left. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the biggest decoy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. This is comfy living. Cozy. Very cozy. And then you got propane there. heaters in here too. Yeah. You got rolling, you got rolling chairs and all. My goodness. So, they actually have a way cooler bunker across the way that we're probably going to see here in a little bit. But look what they did here. This is all just for, they don't really hunt out of this. There's just all these little doors that they've built here. Cut out the side of this storage container. Pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. Oh yeah. Oh, we got our snacks ready, boys. I am ready to do some crane observing. Well, he put the old confidence decoy out there. That's what's going to draw in all... 400,000 of them. Pretty neat setup though. That is really cool. That is neat. But there's just cranes literally flying everywhere. So we are at the 
second blind that I was telling you about. This one's supposed to be really cool. It's got a top sun deck. Holy smokes. It smells like reptiles in here. It smells like when you go to the zoo and you're looking at the snake cage. This is cool. Dedicated March 21st, 1982. So, this is just an observation blind. That's all this is, is both of these blinds are just observation blinds. This is where the DU committee comes to observe the fly line and the conservation. I mean, this is what all this is about. It's all for conservation. I have a feeling this is going to get really, really crazy. 